Hey, Saggy Seeker. Welcome back to your Sagittarius Tarot Scope for different placements and to be guided for this coming month. Welcome back to the Existential Shift. Happy to have you here. If you're new, welcome. Hope you'll choose to join my tribe of seekers. And if you're family, I love you. Thank you. All right. So, this is the Londa Tarot, by the way. Um, if you forget and you want to know, I will write it down in the description box. So. Five of Swords. A Sagittarius that doesn't know what they want and can't shoot and aim for it goes sarcastic. <laughs> it's it's not something that you like. You don't like being in that energy of, um, should I do this or should I do that? You like to have the fire of knowing, of purpose, of a goal, of a destination. You like to have something you believe in. And the Five of Swords, well, you know, you, you, you like meaning and passion and expansion. Five of Swords, like, eh. It's like such a mad energy. Ace of Pentacles, much better. Okay, so you are giving, given, offered an opportunity for something very grounded, very stable, uh, with, um, um, you know, potential of longevity. And it's very clear, it's very rooted, it's very positive, it's an ace of pentacles, right? It's basically the earth extending its open hand to you. And you're like, hey, take my essence. But then, am I, I don't know. Interesting. This could be someone in your life. This doesn't have to be you, but it most certainly can be you. Let's see further. Queen of Swords. Okay. So it's almost like there is the sensation of feeling expected to decide or This is Aquarius energy, by the way. Also Venus and Aquarius energy here with the Five of Swords. So it's almost like a feeling of expectations of being under examination of some sort. But the thing is the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles, it is very sharp and clear and direct and clean it is it, it's, it's almost like something that seems too good to be true and i think that's why you're being like this like suspicious not sure on the fence because most people if someone were to communicate such a strong stable positive offer to them or an opportunity they'd be hyped but then for that you know to be hyped about that you need to be a you know confident in your worth and you being worthy of it because when you're not confident of your worth and something of worth is being presented to you then you you think okay it's either a lie it's either too good to be true because why would it come to me or um, <clears throat> um, I'll probably mess it up or something along those lines. Like it required confidence to see something so good as what it is. And any less of a confidence could dive into the Five of Swords energy, which is um, mental deliberation, but not from an intelligent place, more of a let's complicate this to avoid 
handling this, right? It's almost like in front of you, there's one plus one equals two, but it's so simple and, and in your face that you're like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I can handle this one and this one and this two. I don't know if I can handle the simplicity of the equation and this answer. How about I'll complicate it and try to see this one as like a, um, eight eighths and then the other one is two halves and then give the wrong answer because, you know, even though eight eighths and two halves equals two, um, on the paper it looks more complicated so maybe it's not two maybe it's actually something else and maybe it will take me far longer to get to the conclusion that two is two it's running away i i hope i didn't lose you guys but it's basically taking something simple and over complicating it because you're not sure you're worthy of that or that it is what it is could be a job offer this could be a love offer um but everything is on the table like all the cards are on the table kind of thing what is presented is as clear as it presents itself it's your i don't see any like queen of swords brings aquarius energy there's no hidden agendas there's morality to it the Five of Swords is what I'm worried about, and the Tower. Self-destruction mechanism, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands right after the Tower. And the Sun. So, with the insecurity and the self-destructive mechanism, there's also a very strong lightning of sharp, of sharp, but of consciousness, of view, of awareness. So, a sudden realization of what it is that you do, of what it is that, what is the mechanism inside of you the paranoid aspect that leaves before it is left that destroy destroys before it is destroyed before it gets destroyed then something in you throughout the month makes you pause take yourself out of the situation and observe yourself in the situation and see the mechanism and receive this really this flash of realization it strips you to the bone It makes you feel very vulnerable, which is the thing which is the thing you fear, and yet finally receptive to light and warmth. more please for Sag. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, dominance, you know the drill. Show 
Show me more, please, for Sagittarius. The Emperor. Wow. I think this is you, Sagittarius. The Emperor right after the Sun. This is um very empowered energy. Like going from the Five of Swords to the Sun and the Emperor is like from being, um, you know, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands is very victim mentality. It's very like everybody's trying to hurt me, so I need to hurt them first, or I need to avoid this, and I need. It's like a lot of um, being in a console battle mode and always having like empty wins. Um, and it's like it's like you're breaking out of it completely. into like taking full responsibility that's very impressive not everybody can do that and it, it feels like a flip of, of, of a coin like almost like you just you just toss the coin of the of the um self-definition and it lands on the other side of where it used to land so far and you're like okay this is me now okay so this is me now This is very masculine energy. This is very um, conscious, aware energy, active force, yang, you know, the yin and the yang. Uh, I have the eagle here. It's leadership. Some of you deciding that you want to take your ideas and lead with them and maybe literally um you know pursuing a leading leading leader type of either career or goal and i think it's something that has been waiting to to show itself in you sag like the emperor and the sun, that that could that could be like a, this is like mayor, prime minister, president, or just a head of an organization. And because I have the Aquarius energy here, I'm getting very and, and like the tower, the, you know, um, destroying the mechanism and building a new one. It's like. I'm getting very much a sense of a new world order kind of thing. I would expect to see that in, in, in Aquarius. Very interesting, Sag. Maybe you have strong Aquarius placements. But I really, really like this. A mature Sagittarius. A Sag, oh my god, a Sagittarius with an Emperor energy. But like a balanced one. An aware one. with like, AKA supported by the sun, for example. Um... You know that's that's the centaur. That's um, that's Chiron. That's uh, half horse, half man. That's you in in, in its best expression, its highest expression. If this is work and you've been uh, having some conflict, conflicts with people that felt petty, either the boss is on your side or you're becoming becoming the boss, and that literally, you know, straightens straighten things up. Um, Four of Cups, and again with this damn insecurity, no Sag. No bueno. Keep going with that energy of the um, the zigzag. I'm amazing. I can't do this. I'm fantastic. I don't know how to do this. I'm worthy. I'm unworthy. You are worthy. You can do this. Um, 
I think with some of you, it has to do with feeling like you're not supported by someone you appreciate, like you're not, um, it's like you'd want to be admired by someone you appreciate and you're insecure a little bit about that or in their presence, like if this is a, a partnership, then you're very much so. On the same level, you have you both have a lot to bring to the table equally. I wouldn't worry about that. This is doubts and insecurity. But they're not real with the Four of Cups. But here's the thing. Self-made prophecy, right? Self-fulfilled prophecy. When we start feeling insecure and timid and we act threatened and then our behavior, you know, our actions create a new reality. You're the only one in your way, Sag. The Hermit. So, okay, so I'm getting some father issues. This could be an insecurity that comes from your father, either by expectation or by heritage. Um... I'm actually not getting a present father. I'm getting a father that their influence or the issues that arise from them uh, is more so in the emotional, psychological, even spiritual realm. So this could be a father that wasn't present. Um, but somehow they really affect you. Or if they were present, um, then you've developed like you always felt like you need to really prove yourself to them in a way that brought up your insecurities instead of your strengths now there are many strengths there's a lot of awareness here wisdom sage-like energy um, intuition uh, strong leadership abilities probably from past lifetime that you may have suppressed or haven't tapped into fully, but you are called to tap into those qualities within you. Getting a Sagittarius that has really great ideas. Um, and they care and they have the power to do something about it. But insecurities might be in the way, so I hope I can help. I can help with this, um, you know, to reassure you. And um, kind of give you a, be like a cheerleader to this journey of yours. I'm rooting for you. Queen of Pentacles. an earth sign Taurus or Virgo because it's right after the hermit card of wands. You want to see it? Let me show you. So, whatever is being offered early on in in this month is being accepted later in the month because it is seen for its worth and 
I feel like for you guys, it's literally just the beginning of the other side of the coin. Because this is this was this was on the first side of the coin. Look what's on the other side of the coin once it's flipped. It's also like the sun here. It's almost like success was always around the corner, just waiting for you to um, open yourself up to it. And I think this was a, a journey of self-discovery, Sagittarius, um, because there was a lot of, there's a lot of like, uh, how can I mess this up so it won't be messed up for me, then thus I'll be disappointed again. And... I feel like you're going through that, you know, that process of, of, of stepping out of that mindset, breaking out of that mindset. And whatever understandings you've been holding, um, we're going from Nine of Wands to the Hermit to the Three of Wands uh, when it comes to, you know, holding, holding wands, yeah? Um, it's the vision, it's the passion, it's the, it's the dream that can't be seen here because you're so busy in, in, in protection mode. And here it's almost like, okay, let's take this and look within. What are we even fighting for? What are we even fighting with? And then taking that fire, a candle, that fire of consciousness into building a new vision from it. And that allows you to be seen for what you truly are, Sagittarius. By I'm getting someone you really care about what you what they think, or it allows you to see someone who really cares about what you think for what they truly are. And I, I think like some sometimes throughout the month you will be expected to, like people will look to you expecting you to um, decide something, lead something, um, resolve something, like, you know, like uh, everyone is sitting in a room in a situation and looking for answers and then everybody's looking at you and you're like, well, why is everybody looking at me? Because you're, because there, it's like there's the expectation that you will know what to do kind of thing. So don't fret. Do it. I want to ask for some uh, clarification from the Gypsy Tarot before I move on to your extended. Over there, I will continue this in your extended and also do a Celtic Cross and finish up with the Gypsy Tarot and with messages from the runes. Um, I will link it below. Haughtiness. <laughs> I love these cards. They crack me up. Okay. Waiting. What are we waiting for? The haughtiness. Doctor. Okay, some of you are waiting um, to get results for some sort of uh, medical examination or test because I'm getting that you want to feel at your best or look your best or something like that so if I connect it to this this could be you wanting to make an offer of some sort or to establish something stable in your life like based on a vision or an idea that you have but you're holding on and waiting through some sort of uh, difficulties that are going on in your life and you're kind of waiting for them to resolve themselves and for you to be in a better, stronger place. Like it's a waiting game. 
before you do your approach. This could very much so be some sort of a love offer, like asking someone out on a date or proposing um, something more serious, or even if you're in a relationship, this could be a proposal or asking to move in together, or asking to travel together, something could be anything, but it's like waiting on being more in your power to do so. And Queen of Pentacles can represent Taurus slash May, and we have here around uh, three weeks or three months. So this is in May, June, July. So maybe July is a good time to do so. Um, But again, take it as it resonates. Don't limit yourself just because what of what I said, right? These are general readings. Um, if you want to check your specific narrative, you can always book a private reading with me. It's also linked below a way to how to do so. Um, okay, guys, let's. I'm gonna take this now to the extended. I'm gonna do this right now. So, if, so I'm gonna link everything below. So if I'm gonna see you in a second, great. If not, I'll see you next month or in your other placements. Feel free to check out. Uh, other videos. Thank you once again for being around. Um, in the description box, as I said, you'll find the extended, a way to book a private reading with me, but also 2019 Ministers of Magic, which is the yearly extended, and Tarot Masterclass, uh, which is a library for all the tarot cards. So for all of you tarot buffs, beginner to professional, if you want to know everything about tarot and receive my guidance and my knowledge then uh i will link it below as well it's on vimeo um and if you want a deeper explanation as to what tarot masterclass is um just watch all the way through this video because i will edit in the um the um explanation i love you guys thank you for being around see you soon Hey Seeker, I'm so excited to announce this. If you don't care or don't want to know, feel free to skip this uh, and just go straight to your reading. All good. Love you anyway. Um, I just completed Tarot Masterclass after 14 months of this amazing, intense shamanic journey of me um, going through the condensed energies of each of the cards and creating a somewhat of an Akashic Records, a library of the tarot. Each tarot card receives its own video that is very comprehensive, that includes all the standard interpretations that we know from different points of view throughout history. But of course, to add to those, my summing of them and my extra oomph and, you know, me doing what I do. Um, so I teach the path of tarot in Tarot Masterclass, Bunkai. Bunkai means hidden applications, the secrets of the knowledge, the, the things that are normally hidden from us um, throughout time because, you know, knowledge is power and power brings with great responsibility. So it's all on Vimeo. It's an extensive library. Uh, you can either purchase the classes separately if you're not interested in becoming a Tarochi or learn the path of tarot or go through the shamanic journey with me um, or, or, or live live the life path of you know torah of the tarot um all good you can just be curious about several cards and you can pick and choose the ones that you want to know about so you can either pick and choose a few or you can take all of them for those of you who really want to go through the journey you know uh choose the pill of knowledge and um and have all the classes i made a buy all option that makes it more affordable so don't skip that in case you're planning on having them all because it will be easier in your pocket um, with that with that said, it's probably one as far as I'm I'm aware of one of the most comprehensive, intense um, online classes, webinars, however you want to call it, when it comes to tarot, and it is forever. You will be able to download it to your PC or to a hard drive and come back to it 20 years from now. Um, but it will feel as if we are one on one in my living room and teaching you about each of the cards and how to connect the dots um, if you don't want to download it it's also fine you can just stream it stream it through vimeo and have it 
you know, saved online. All good. So yeah, Seeker, I, 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 I made this for us. I put my blood, sweat, and tears, and joy, and heart, and light, and shadow work, and light work into it. Um, 14 years of immense studies and of work with the tarot are put into it. Um, I shot this class throughout six different homes. Uh, I did a, a cross countries um, trip so you have videos that are shot in so many different places and circumstances and in my own you know very varied human condition um it is fantastic and i'm so excited that i've reached this peak i just finished shooting the epilogue yeah so okay now to your reading link to all that is below uh in the description box i love you